Okay, hey, what's up, Scorpio? Welcome back to my channel, Finding Peyote. Um, sorry I've been gone for a week or whatever. I have not been feeling well. Um, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpio. Forced evolution. Whoa. I don't remember what that reading was about at all. What a gnarly title, right? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Scorpio. What's this email. Okay, I'm gonna do a star spread. Sorry, you stupid notification. Um a star spread. Here we go. Your signifier card is justice. Ooh. First position is you currently. Justice is your situation currently. Mm. The hermit. Okay. You've retreated. Second position is what you want. Scorpio. Do you want the four of wands? Okay. <laughs> Hidden factors. The hierophant. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is happening? <laughs> the obstacle. <laughs> Nine of cups. <laughs> and the outcome. Two cards. Five of uh, eggy, five of cups, and the death card. Whoa! Bottom of the deck, the high priestess. So currently, you would like balance and something. Justice and something. Re resolution and something. Does that say 11? It does say 11. And isn't this like 11 11? That's what this card is. Crazy. Okay, so you currently are the hermit. Like I said, you've like retreated. Let's clarify. Oops. Ooh, with the two of wands because you've come to a crossroads. Let's just see what this is. Another card, please. The Seven of Swords, because of like some kind of deceit or holding back feelings or something's happened. What you want is the Four of Wands. Clarified with the Ace of Wands. You'd like a new opportunity in a divine connection. This is such a love reading. The Hierophany is your hidden, um, hidden factors. Oh my gosh. Okay clarified with the king of pentacles so hidden factor is there is some type of love thing that's super stable the nine of cups scorpio um is the obstacles is the nine of cups and the lovers holy cow but why is the outcome the death and the five of cups let's see because of competition, the five of wands and the five of cups. There's a lot of fives here. Whoa, and the eight of swords. Not being able to make up your mind about what. One more card, please. Eight of pentacles. Wanting to work on, oh, that's eight of swords and the eight of pentacles. Crazy. Not knowing what to do, if you want to work on this situation or not. Maybe you found out the magician, somebody was a trickster, somebody played you. What? What did we say? Forced evolution. Hmm. Something must have happened, like, 
something that has happened that that forced you to make more decisions so something has forced you this whatever betrayal thing with the seven of swords has forced you to retreat because you, you've come to this crossroads mm. crazy Um, okay, so let's use the Kipper deck to find out some more. The Seven of Swords, please. A message of concern. So maybe you found something or somebody told you, um, or you found something maybe online or whatever that, um, this kind of deceit was happening. Justice. Distant horizon. Hmm. Oh, being like dreamy that's crazy yeah so that could be like um oh that there could be like something that seemed like it was just too good to be true but it turned out that maybe that it could have been some type of false person with the seven of swords um and a force per you were kind of living in this some type of like illusion and this thing has kind of woken you up mm-hmm could be addictions, alcoholism too, and a card of dreams and fantasies. Or a message from overseas. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Announces a discovery of spirituality and new adventures. Yes, yeah, so that's maybe coming up and finding out this information and stuff and that's kind of sparking you to evolve. Let's see, death card. Main female, yeah, it's a new beginning because there was competition with the main female. I think a main female is somebody who makes like a lot of decisions. I don't think it's not, I don't think it's supposed to say, oh, this is the other woman or another, um, like whatever, or the the main person and stuff. It just, it's just that energy of somebody who kind of, um, you know, makes a lot of decisions and kind of is really like, um. Uh, forceful in somebody's life that that could be the competition um, but they're seeming like you don't want that anymore and the pathway card um, which is the card before distant horizons so that's 36 this is 35 and this is realizing that um, it's going to take a long time um, with the five of cups this eight of swords eight of Pentacles and the magician that that this is um, not going to be something that um is going to go away very easily it's going to take a lot of work in order for things to get better occupation yeah and this being the obstacle the nine of cups with the lovers in occupation is that the lovers either talks about this being a soulmate or talks about you also making a decision whether if you're not if you want to work on it or not which is the same vibe that i'm getting from up here the nine of cups are like talking about like what you think your wish fulfillment is although you do want a new beginning and a divine connection let's see who this could be. oh wow courthouse um and that was um i forget what it said it was in the aquarius ring too that's why could be within Aquarius. Um, yeah, that but that could be like a new opportunity, and what you really want is like a divorce or something. Um, all like all types of like legal matters and stuff. Um, it could be that your relationship is undergoing a test right now, or it's possibly your unemployment. Um, the courthouse recommends discovering the truth and coming to an honest decision. So you would like an honest new beginning. That's very nice. Um, that's what you desire. And in the hidden factors is that um, that is what you have. You do have oh, stupid notification. You do have um, that kind of thing with the hierophant and the king of pentacles in your hidden things. Is that that opportunity really is there? <clears throat>
and community card is coming out too and that's talking about really finding out what makes you happy um realizing where you belong and thoughts is at the bottom of the deck so you could really be stuck in your head thinking a lot about this stuff and that's fine how does this person feel about scorpio king cups they think you're a Holding in your emotions. Nine of Pentacles, they think you're awesome, they think you're abundant, they think you're single, they think you're a, a great person to be with. The Eight of Swords, they don't know what to do. Three of Cups, they'd like to come back together with you to celebrate. They'd like, they would like to celebrate with you. The Nine of Swords, yeah, they'd like to rush in. the page of wands and um, they'd like to send you a message they'd like to talk to you again to rush in how do you feel about scorpio ace of cups yeah with with a new love beginning i mean so this is definitely not over for them the seven of cups they feel like you have a lot of options they feel like you've got a lot of stuff going on that you're not the only choice. The six of wands that they feel like you would be a victory. They feel like that's it. Everybody wants you. Seven of cups and, and you're a victory to everybody. Everybody would love to be with you because you are nine of pentacles, like steady, um, you know, unwavering, consistent, coming in at like a, a steady pace, doing doing the right thing you feel about this person <clears throat> page of pentacles you feel like they're just a page but you feel like they're looking at things differently now seven of cups you also feel like they have a lot of options ten of wands you feel like um, you're just kind of ready to let this go maybe in the chariot for a new opportunity temperance because you, you would like to have balance in your life the empress is how you feel about them you feel like they are the empress though you feel like they are abundant ten of pentacles yeah you do love them you do feel like there's somebody that you could be with for swords but you're up up all night um taking a break from from all of this but losing track of time the queen of swords you you feel like like they are your happiness and the four of wands yeah that this is who you want this new beginning with what's the outcome the queen of cups showing your emotions Six of Pentacles is an equal give and take. The hangman seeing things differently. Judgment, yeah, just maybe talking about it. The Hierophant possibly going to counseling or having a marriage in the end. The Ten of Swords, you had to talk about the way that things had ended that you've been thinking about them the whole time and the ace of pentacles time for a new beginning and the lovers a decision is made or you guys are soulmates and six of cups of reconciliation queen of pentacles at the bottom is um a couple times i saw because i think the empress came out too or whatever right oh and the other one how um how you feel about them so that's kind of two pregnancy cards too so this could end in a pregnancy Ice for Scorpio. Hello, it's a lot, but it all flipped over. Advice, yeah, I mean, let things end, then they have to end. Address your feelings, things that actually hurt you. These things are kind of meant to happen. We do feel the fortune. The King of Cups is like, you know, be sure in your feelings in the sun to not really worry that, um, you know, this is like something that is going to make you happy. No advice too is always just to kind of focus on what makes you happy you know talk about that seven 
yeah coming to that crossroads which is which i'm thinking is needing to talk about what the seven of swords is you need to talk with either a counselor or with you know your person to really kind of air your grievances and to talk about what happened the king of wands to be in control you're in control you can do whatever you want and the six of pentacles yeah focus on an equal give and take um the advice is to not forget about what broke your heart instead to not like brush it under the rug but to really address these feelings and that'll make you happy you know taking initiative to do stuff being in your power forcing even you know this kind of um, crossroads thing after finding out about this to see um somehow you know is um really going to bring you abundance and can really help you out even though right now you're going to feel a little bit sad in the end but the death card is always awesome i love that because it shows that there's going to be a new beginning and it is because something's going to end you're going to talk about this stuff um that this stuff's supposed to happen to share about your feelings that will bring you happiness and to kind of help you in this crossroads um to find abundance when and, and it seemed like the outcome was you guys coming back together so that seems really awesome that went really fast i think i was talking really fast <laughs> I was just so excited to get it out. Um, <laughs> so that was your reading. Please like the video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if that'd be really cool if you did. Um, and I'd appreciate it <laughs> a lot. And I hope you guys have a great um, rest of the week. Okay, bye.